Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room for Tuesday, November the 8th, Election Day. It is finally, finally here and um, well, you know, based on what we saw yesterday and based on what we're seeing today, it appears that uh, Clinton may win uh, only because, again, not taking sides or anything, but the market does not like uncertainty and I guess they felt that uh, Trump would be a little more uncertain than uh, than Clinton and what might happen. So, you know, obviously, the, what time is it now? It's uh, it's only less than two. It's not even two o'clock yet. So, I mean, there's uh, lots of time left, but uh, certainly the market appears to be factoring in a Clinton win. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, what I, uh, on a personal note, just a, a fabulous day. Um, started off with this one. You know, again, if you're uh, not in the States, uh, I mean, I'm in Canada, but, you know, we, we know the news. Um, many states, I think there were five or six of them, and, but the big one, California, were having uh, on their ballots today propositions. Uh, one of the propositions was the legalization of marijuana. And, you know, obviously all these cannabis stocks have been just so incredibly hot over the last uh, few months um, in anticipation that, you know, a lot of these states would, would uh, finally legalize, not just Colorado and uh, Washington State. Anyway, bottom line is that I, um, you know, I, I had said in the room that I, I wasn't going to do any one of these stocks until probably Wednesday, when, once, you know, the propositions had either passed or failed. There'd be plenty of time on Wednesday to start uh, looking at uh, some of these. But I decided uh, yesterday that uh, to take this one, um, yeah, I was trading right at the end and I took the trade right at 118 and this was uh, going to be as a hold. You're not, if you don't know this one at all, and, I, and listen, and I, I know I say this all the time, but I fully understand if you can't trade these, you don't feel comfortable trading them, fine. These are pink sheet stocks. So, you know, not for everybody. But I don't see, right now, I'm not seeing a big, big difference between trading these pink sheet stocks, stocks and some of these low floaters that we've been uh, all over for the past few months. So, Look at this one though, if you can believe it. This one was say five cents, four cents, um, you know, five, even it was say five cents on, let's see, October the 3rd. So a little over a month ago, five cents. And look what it hit today, 163, insane. Now, what did I do with this? You know, I'm not in, I'm not in it anymore. But I, I sold some at, um, you know, 136. This, this is what I was greeted with this morning. Just a beautiful pop-up. Sold some at 136. Sold some at uh, 145. Uh, popped all the way up here. And then on the way down, I sold some at uh, 157. So I'm out, of the, I'm out of it right now. And I'll have to see what I'm going to do later on. Um, I want to, uh, you know get back into this. I don't necessarily mean today. Depends how it's, it, it, uh, it finishes up today though. The only problem is, I mean, it is so incredibly extended. Uh, this is the one that I actually was kind of preferring, uh, this AMMJ. Uh, it popped over two and it's kind of sitting here. It hasn't had the, in, it still had a great run, but you know, nothing can really compete with going from five to $1.65. So Anyway, we'll um, we'll see. We'll just have to see about that one. Now, there were some astonishing trades today. Uh, I wasn't in this one. Hertz, Hertz got absolutely crushed on earnings. Um, the earnings per the EPS was way earnings per share was way below the estimate, and the guidance was bad. I mean, look at this stock. Uh, Thirty-five sixty-eight. It closed yesterday. This is the uh, after hours yesterday, and it just continued in uh, pre-market today. Got all the way down to 17.14. A lot of people played this this uh, this bounce up here. I I, I unfortunately did not. Uh, I was doing other things, I guess. But um, you know, this was just turned into a, a great trade for those who took it. A lot of people in the room did did do that one. Um, took Holly, one of Holly's trades. Crow. Uh, turned into be a great trade. Um, you know, it's funny when we looked at the uh, strategies that were optimized for today. We had five short and uh, two and four long, and all the shorts were triggering at the beginning. The market was down in the beginning, and then a couple of the uh, longs kicked in, and one of them was ARO. And here was the alert at. Um, 
let's see. Nine, nine sixteen. Sorry, at nine. There was the alert right at nine, and I got in. I waited a little bit. Just wanted to make sure it was going. Oh, I know. I had to take a look at the daily here. Oops, sorry about that. Back. Uh, yeah, I took a look at the daily and. I wanted it to clear out of this area right there. See the little top, 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 top. And also the market was going down. So uh, I thought, well, I wanted to just make sure. And it just seemed like it wanted to hold um, nine pretty well. So I took the trade at 9.16. It was also an earnings play. Okay, so all these earnings plays, you generally they're they're pretty active all day long. And so I took the trade at uh, 916. Right about here. And I did take some out at uh, 926 on this little pop. And then some more at uh, 940. And then on the way down at 940, uh, 929. So, you know, it was a nice little percentage move, a pretty safe. Uh, trade it really you know th th this is obviously a big topping tail there and a bit of a bottoming tail there but I mean it really it wasn't too bad until we get this started to get this red bar there and then we had the giant red bar right there but you know it turned out to be a really nice trade uh, from Holly now I'm also in this one TRN see this is uh, just something that I'd seen I saw this one yesterday actually as a potential swing trade if you take a look at the daily you might see why excuse me so Look at this void here. And earnings have already occurred. This is, I think, well, this might have been the earnings day here. But uh, earnings have occurred. But look at the void. Uh, 1684, we're sitting at $11. So I'm in this one right now at 1116. Notice it did pop up to 1130. I did not take it out, though. I'm, uh, I'm, I may swing this one, especially if it, uh, if it maintains over 1116 where I bought it. Um, I may swing it. I actually had an alert. You don't see it now because I, I erased the alert, but I had an alert when it broke 11. And uh, this is something I had noticed yesterday. So I set the alert at 11. So when it broke 11, I started watching it and I decided to take that, um, decided to take it right here at 11.16. Okay. So, you know, I had a, a slightly anxious moment here. I, uh, you know, I had it gone a lot, but if I'd gone a little bit more, it hit 1097. I was actually looking at about 1095, thinking, okay, I might get out of it. I can always get back in it if it broke over 11 again. But anyway, I'm still in this one and I may swing it. I, I don't know if I am. Uh, I, typically, when I swing something, it ha I, it has to be above where I bought it. And uh, so we'll we'll see though. We'll see. It's a great looking daily. Um, did take a loss on. Yum C came from the options. Uh, just wanted to point out, you know, they're not all winners. Uh, got into this one uh, right on this break here, 27.11. Uh, Look, like I was holding 27. Took the trade at 27.11, and then as it was uh, moving down to 27, I got out. So I took an 11 cent loss on that one. CVS was the other one that uh, a lot of us played. This turned out to be a great winner. Uh, it's funny because we were watching it right here to see if it. Um, would take out 70, no, sorry, right there, 73, right, now where was the fake? It was right here. So I had an alert right about here, 73.09, 73.14 or so, and because we were waiting to see if it broke. Now, look at this. I mean, first of all, it, it's had a, you know, another earnings play, 83. We noticed all this in the pre-market. So, you know, we're maybe some of these, I mean, this company's not going out of business, just had bad earnings. So a lot of times what we're looking for is is the bounce. And so I, you know, I didn't get in here, but we started watching it. I know the whole room was watching this right here to see if it would take out 73 because it looked like it was, you know, it was trying to base it just underneath. Took out 73 on this, on this uh, candle right there and it was all set to get in it and then it just dropped. So I was, started watching it just to see if it would hold 73. Look what it did. That was just a nasty candle and all the way down to 72. So I, um, I held off. But then started watching it again, and this time, this time it held, and I got into the trade at 73.19. This might be the mark right there. No, just over there. So 
That's close enough. I got in at 73.19. Oops. Ah, oh, just a second. Problems with um, the multiple monitor sometimes. Okay, so here's where I got in, and then look what happened. I mean, this, these are 15-minute candles, but um, I ended up taking some out at uh, 73.51. I took it out pretty pretty quickly. I just didn't want this to happen again. So I took some out at 73.51 uh, uh, from 73.19. And then after that, I mean, it broke over 74. Actually hoping maybe maybe to get $2 out of the play, uh, see if it could break 75. It didn't. And I exited the, the balance at 74.83 and 74.70. So up in this, uh, just put a mark up here. So that turned out to be just a, a, an awesome trade. This really turned out to be a great trade, this says QVCA. Um, this came from the options play. Options play magic window right here at 1923. Back these out here. Put them over here. Sorry about that, I'm just rearranging things on my other monitor. Um, yeah, came at 1923 on the options play. So the alert happened right here. Now I waited on it just a little bit. It, um, and if you take a look at the daily on it, see what I was kind of waiting for. So remember now I'm in, uh, so the alert was at 1923 right here. Wanted to make sure that this cleared. See that right there, that, that area right there. So here's the pullback. This is the daily chart. And then boom. Now, this is an earnings play. So looking at this and thinking, okay, well, you know, first of all, 20 will probably be a, t a tough one. Uh, if it got through there, maybe this area here. Fantasy, way up to here. But waited on this just long enough to do, to have this action. Watch this. It, it had this action, so I waited on this. Uh, this is the alert at around 19.23. It did move up here. Was, was just wondering, should I take it? Should I take it? And then all of a sudden, this happened. But then it popped right back up again. All right. So again, what's happening here? The sellers are taking over, trying to drive it down. The buyers take over. Sellers again tried to drive it down. The buyers take over. Ended up taking the trade right right here at 19.30. Right at 19.30. As it was moving back up, I decided, okay, with these two bottoming tails, the sellers are, are trying, but the buyers are in charge. So I took the trade right here at 19.30. And look at this. So I took some out at uh, 19.51, kind of fairly quick, just to make sure, you know, I like to do that. I'll take some out because then if it has a pullback, I can hold on. And then look at this. I mean, I did, unfortunately, I did not hold on up to the 2021. Um, I was out at 19, 1981, basically, as it came back uh, down. Uh, actually, I, I did sell some uh, on the, more on the way up in the last, the last bit at 1981. So this was just a, an excellent trade, though. Um, it's something I may even watch tomorrow to see if it has a, any continuation. All right. Well, that's about it. Um, say, election day. Let me see my TRNC. Yeah, just kind of hanging around this area. So again, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, to hold it or not. But anyway, election day. Um, you know, I don't even think I went over this. Um, you know, here's the address to get into the room. Usually, I have my preamble. I think I was so excited about talking about uh, the stocks we we're in. Uh, anyway, this is the address. This is a free room, by the way. No, no strings attached. No credit cards. No nothing. Free room. I share my screen all day long. Uh, I usually open the room at about quarter to nine, and then I get live on the mic between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m., uh, up to 4 p.m. Sometimes I only go to about 3.30, 3.40. And if you'd like to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas, you can uh, type this in your browser, click on it, and you'll be taken to a subscription page, and there'll be a promo code there for you for instant savings. All right, well, tomorrow should be really interesting, depending on who won. Uh, think of Hillary. If Clinton wins, the uh, market is uh, pretty satisfied uh, that there's not going to be too much uh, froth. If uh, Mr. Trump wins, well, who knows what, what the market will do. Everybody's predicting it will go down. But you know what? Eventually, things will settle out and we'll always have trades. So uh, thanks for listening. A little bit long-winded today, but thanks very much for listening, and I hope to see you in our trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.